Hi everybody, this is um, section 9-2 for our Math 211 Geometry textbook and it is for special right triangles. So we're going to look at the properties of 45-45-90 triangles and 30-60-90 triangles. Alright, so the first triangle we're going to look at is a 45-45-90 triangle. And in a 45-45-90 triangle, um, both legs are going to be congruent because the angles opposite them are the same measure. And we're going to call those X. And then the length of the hypotenuse is always going to be square root 2 times the length of a leg. So X times square root 2. All right, so here we have a 45-45-90. And... Um, you want to identify your two legs. And again, your two legs are what make up that right angle. So my two legs are going to be right here and right here. Um, so one leg is 9. We know that both legs are congruent. So Z is going to be 9 as well. And then the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 is always X times the square root of 2, or whatever your legs are, times the square root of 2. So that makes it 9 square root 2. And that's all we have to do for that one. All right, so here they want us to find the value of x and y. Um, we know we have one leg that's 2 square root 2. So that means my other leg right here, y, is going to be equal to 2 square root 2. Um, now, um, for x, remember the hypotenuse is always whatever x or whatever the leg is. So in our case, it's going to be 2 square root 2 times the square root of 2. So when I do the multiplication here, um, we're going to have 2 times the square root of 4 because the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4. Um, I know the square root of 4 is 2, and 2 times 2 is going to give us 4. So our hypotenuse is going to be 4 in this case. All right, so here they gave us the hypotenuse, and they want us to find the leg. And it's helpful here to just write an equation. So we know the leg of a 45, 45, 90 is x. We know the hypotenuse is x times the square root of 2. So if we have our equation here, 6 equals x square root 2, and we got to find x to solve it. Let's divide both sides by the square root of 2. And that will give us x equals 6 divided by the square root of 2. But if you notice, it's a multiple choice answer, and I don't have that up there at all. I do have 6 times the square root of 2, but that's not going to work. Um, but if you recall, with radicals, you have to rationalize your denominator. You cannot have a radical in your denominator. So remember to get rid of the square root of 2. you got to multiply it by the square root of 2, which the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is going to give me, we're going to have 6 square root 2 over the square root of 4. But that square root of 4 is equal to... 2, and we have 6 square root 2, because it's a whole number and a radical, you can't multiply it. Um, but the final answer, because this is not up there either, I can divide 6 by 2, so that is going to give me 3 square root 2, and that will be our final answer, B. All right, so here we have a high school softball diamond, which is a square. So we know squares have 90 degree angles. Um, the distance from base to base is 60 feet. To the nearest foot, how far does the catcher throw the ball from home plate to second base? So we want to figure out here. So I think this is a 90 degree angle right here. And this is going to divide this. It's going to be 45 here, 45 there. So this is a leg which means this is a leg, and D is going to be our hypotenuse. So to throw from home plate to second base, it would be 60 times the square root of 2, 
which for this one, that doesn't help us too much. Let's multiply it out. So if I do 60 times the square root of 2, I end up with approximately 84.9 feet. So it's about 85 feet, 84.85. I rounded it to 0.9. All right, so our second special triangle is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, and this one, it's a little bit harder because there's not just two measurements to remember, there's three. Um, so in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always two times the length of the side opposite the shorter angle. So the 30 degree angle is always x, the hypotenuse is 2x. And then the side opposite the 60 degree angle is x times the square root of 3. All right, so here they want us to find d and f. Or they just ask for d, um, but we can find f too. Now, remember, if we just write in the values, we know opposite the 30. So right here, this is x. We know the hypotenuse is always 2 times x. And the 5 here is opposite the 60, so it's x square root 3. So just like we did with the 45, 45, 90, we're going to solve. We're going to say, well, 5 is equal to x times the square root of 3, but I need x. So I'm going to divide both sides by the square root of 3. And again, I end up with x equals 5 divided by the square root of 3. But I need to rationalize my denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides, or the top and the bottom, by the square root of 3. So that is going to give me 5 square root 3. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9, but we know that's the whole number 3. So that means that d, or x, is 5 square root 3 divided by 3. And I can't do any simplifying. Now, if they wanted us to find f, which they didn't ask for, but if they did, we would have to multiply 5 square root 3 over 3 times 2, or think of it as like 2 over 1. So that would be 5 times 2 is 10, so we have 10 square root 3 over 3. And that would be our final answer if they asked us to find f. Alright, so we have our last question here, and we have an artist that makes pendants in the shape of equilateral triangles. So remember, equilateral triangles, all the angles are 60 degrees each. The height of each pendant is 18 millimeters. So here's our height right here, and it's 18 millimeters, um, and it's perpendicular to the base of the pendant. So what is the length of each side of the pendant? So we wanted the side. So kind of think of it this way. We have a right triangle here. We have our 90 degree angle right there. This angle right here, because it's part of the equilateral triangle, is 60. And this is going to be our 30 degree angle. So remember, opposite the 30 is x. The hypotenuse is 2x. And opposite the 60, which is your 18, is x square root 3. So again, to solve this, we got to go and do a little math work there. So the first thing we're going to do is take our 18 and set it equal to x square root 3. Divide both sides by the square root of 3. So we end up with x equals 18 square root 3. Again, we do have to rationalize our denominator, so we'll multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 3. So I end up with 18 square root 3 over 3. And then I can divide. 3 goes into 18 6 times, so my answer is 6 square root 3 for the length of each side of the pendant. Now they want it to the nearest tenth of a millimeter. So I need to multiply that out. That would be my exact answer. If I do 6 times the square root of 3, 
it is approximately 10.4 millimeters. And that is it for section 9-2 and the end of chapter 7 and 9 combined together.